I'm hurt, bro. I just can't do this. I don't I don't know how long can I deal with this for. I just hope he's alive and he come back home. Back in July, I got a call from my mom saying that my sister over there going crazy about my nephew. They said that he was missing. According to the police, they said that around 9.50 a.m., the babysitter dropped the baby off to me and my sister. I had a weapon on my waistband. I pulled it from my waistband and then I aimed it at her and they said that I took my nephew and ran off. And that never happened, that's not true. I don't know this babysitter, this babysitter don't know me or my sister. Amber never knew that my nephew had a babysitter. They said that this babysitter had been in my nephew's life for two years. My sister trusted the stepdad and it's like, he'd been lying to her from the start. He was telling her that he was taking care of my nephew, but the whole time when he come get my nephew, you drop her off with this babysitter that we don't know about. According to police, they said that my nephew's deceased, but they didn't tell me like, how was he murdered? Why was he murdered? Where, like where his body is? They didn't tell me nothing. So honestly, I don't believe that because it's like, y'all telling me my nephew's dead. Why can't I get his body? Amber, this has got to be very hard on your family. Um, tell me about the day you found out that your son was missing. The, the day I found out my son was missing, it, it, it was, it turned my life uh, upside down. I had to call the cops and report my son missing <laughs> because this babysitter claimed that she dropped him off to me. You never even knew that this babysitter was in your son's life. I, I never knew of this babysitter until July 7th when this his stepfather texted me, asked me that I get him from a babysitter, didn't say her name, nothing, babysitter. I didn't find out uh, actually the name of the babysitter until July 20th when she was on the news for murder. So from what I understand, when um, the stepfather would take your son, you were under an impression that he was with him all the time. Yes. And it turns out that he would then give your little boy to this babysitter. Yes. Do people believe that you were involved? <laughs> Not the people that know me, but the people that don't. Tell me about your son. He was a miracle to me. Um, I always wanted a little boy, always, and I got him. You know, he, he's so joyful. That's how, like, I know my son not dead because he's, he, he's happy right now. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I can't even mourn. You know what I'm saying? Because I can't even feel that he's dead. Just wherever he's at, he's happy still. And, you know, my son was just everything to me. You know, I love him. I love him so much. I just want him to come home. Do you believe he's still alive? I do. What do the FBI and the police believe? They said he's deceased. How can, how can I believe this? And y'all telling me deceased, y'all don't know the, me the mechanism of his death. Y'all don't know where he was, where he just, you know, where his body's at. Y'all don't know why this happened. They really don't have no information. I guess that they can release the men. Uh, Cody, you know, uh, just an unbelievably tragic, sad story. Um, when I watch your tape, I, I feel your pain. It's a nightmare, I would say, just because, you know, your sister believes that your nephew is still alive. Um, but that's the hard part, not knowing. Nobody really knows definitely whether he's alive, uh, if he's dead. Um, how hard has this been on you, your family, with your nephew been gone? It's been hard a lot, because, like, nothing the same. It's just none of this makes sense. And it's like we don't know what to do. Had you had never seen this babysitter before, not in passing? No, never... I, I never seen her a day in my life, and my sister never seen her. Amber, your mom couldn't be here today in the studio. 
but she's on a virtual call. Um, let's meet your mother, Kim. Hey, hi, Steve. Um, can you describe the day that you got the call about your grandson? Yes, I was home, and Denver text, Amber texted me. She said, Mom, King's on his way home today. I said, okay, you know, we get all happy. King's coming home and everything. So, so then she get a text. So then her face just changed. So he said, did, the, did you get the baby? And she said, no. He said, the babysitter didn't drop her off. She said, what babysitter? After that, Amber just called the cops. And it's been devastating ever since that day. Cody, you came here and took a lie detector test. And we asked you, did you know of the babysitter before your nephew's disappearance? You answered no. Around July 7th, 2020, did you meet the babysitter to pick up your missing nephew? You answered no. Do you know where your missing nephew is now? You answered no. Did you have any involvement in your missing nephew's disappearance? You answered no. The results came back all the same, and it came back that Cody told the truth. I knew it. I knew, I knew he was telling the truth. Amber, you came, and you took a lie detector test. When we asked you, did you know of the babysitter before your son's disappearance? You answered no. Around July 7th of 2020, did you meet the babysitter to pick up your missing son? You answered no. Do you know where your missing son is now? You answered no. Did you have any involvement in your missing son's disappearance? You answered no. Uh, the results came back all the same, and it came back that Amber told the truth. Well, I want to thank you, Steve. I just want to <laughs> come on your show just to clear me and my brother's name, but so much more we got to do. <laughs> um, I mean, this is just a, a tiny. I know it, it, in some, some way I help it. It makes the idea of getting up and getting out of bed has got to be tremendously hard for everybody in your family right now. I hope this gives you some piece of what you're dealing with. Um, what do you want people to know that been thinking you were involved somehow? I want people to stop blaming my family for this, because we don't have nothing to do with this. We never had nothing to do with this, and we still don't got nothing to do with this. I just want my son back. That's it. I hope this get justice for King. Like, worst come to worst. I don't like... believe my son was getting justice at all. I would, I would hope that if anybody is, watches this show and has any knowledge at all, uh, the whereabouts, what happened, that they would come forward and they would speak out um, one way or the other. This is really a case of somebody needing closure one way or the other. And I hate to say it like, but it's true. The not knowing part is what's going to eat you. If this helped you, I'm very happy because the pain that you must be feeling uh, is just, I don't know if anybody can imagine what you're going through. I hope that you soon get some information and I hope it's good information. I would hope and pray that you get your son back. Hopefully we can update this show with a good outcome um, and everybody will Keep you in our hearts and hope for the best for you. Thank you, Steve. Good luck to you.